Hey, hey, hey. Hey, angels. How's everybody doing tonight? I don't see any comments. I don't see any comments yet. Can you guys comment to see if uh, I could see comments, please? Hello, hello, hello. I can see any comments, guys. Let me see what's going on. I can see it now. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Mary. Hey, Sky. I don't know what I did. I couldn't see comments, but you know me and computer and lives. I'm a mess. Finally, it's Friday. I need to wait to see if I get more people in so I could start um, the tutorial. I don't know if it's Facebook or what. Facebook or me. Is Lenore here yet? I don't know what that is going on. I can't see comments. All I can see is Michelle is watching, Mary's watching. There you go. Hello, Noor. Oops. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Yeah, I see, now I could see comments, but I don't know. Anyway. Um, should I start or should I wait until a little uh, more people come in? Because then I'm going to have to repeat myself. I 
I'm doing the Skyrim cup. Let me bring it over because I forgot. I'm gonna be working on this cup. Hey Marixa. This is what I'm gonna be doing today. This is gonna be a two-step video because we have to wait until the Mod Podge dry. So, we'll do the first step today and then I'll probably come back and do it tomorrow. We'll do the second part. Um, this is a very easy cup to make. The uh, technique on these is blending. Blending your colors um, very well. And I'm going to teach you what I do. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do it. For all the newbies out there, um, if they don't, I could give them an idea how I do mine. I just finished a Galaxy cup. Well, I didn't finish it. It's in the turner. But... Um, I did a lot of blending and it came out beautiful. I mean, not because I made it, but it came out beautiful. And then I started painting this one today. It's not done yet, but it's gonna be a lot of coloring. So what you're gonna need for this cup, for this cup is gonna be a cup. You're gonna prep your cup, you're gonna paint it. Um, I did a pretty shitty paint job on this one, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be covering it. Um, one thing I want to tell you, you could use, you could paint it black if you like. Um, I had a painted one, a white one, so I'm going to use it because I'm going to paint it anyway. But um, you're going to need tissue paper. And for, this is for the first step. Um, been doing tumblers for I, I think like two years and then we're gonna need Mod Podge um, so like I said we're gonna do the first step today and then we are going to do the second part tomorrow I have something to do tomorrow so I might be going live around 12 um, or 1 not sure yet but I'll let you guys know in case you want to start your cup, do the first step with me, you know, and then tomorrow we'll go to the second step. Um, I got my pictures right here. Three years? No, I think I started at the end of 2018. I'm not sure. Jeez. Okay, so... In order for me to know, I'm going to go to YouTube later on because my first tutorial was the Dragon Cup. So, yeah. And I posted on my YouTube. So, I already printed my pictures. Uh, I'm using printable vinyl. Um, you could use water slide, but water slide is more expensive. So, I'm using printable vinyl. I'm going to bring you guys down and I'm going to show you what I do. Give me a minute. Let me see how I do this without messing it up. Okay. So. I'm going to put my cup right here. Let me see if you can see it. Don't mind me because I'm fat. <laughs> so, I'm going to put my cup here. Oh, one thing. Remember, if you're using a cup with the, um, with the lid, the one, the screw lid, make sure you put in it the right way. So, this is just a regular skinny. So, I'm going to put my picture on. I could get it out of this. Hi, Crystal. 
So, oops, oops. I'm gonna put my picture. I always try to put my picture like the middle first. And then slowly do my sides. Okay, there it is. Then I'm gonna go on the other side and I'm gonna put this picture on. This is the logo for this game. So, I'm going to look, make sure they're like in the middle. Again, do this, slowly one side, and then slowly the other side. Okay, so, you see, if you have a bigger picture, you don't have to worry about it, because we're gonna cover all this. That's why I use printable uh, vinyl instead of water slide, because I don't really care about this. I don't care how it looks. Um, the skinny always have a little taper, I think it's called, so it's not completely um, like straight. It's not a regular skinny, so that's why the picture looks kind of funny, but we'll fix that. Okay, so we're done with this part. Next thing we're gonna do is we are going to make this very wrinkly, very, very wrinkly. And then we're gonna start breaking pieces. Now remember you're gonna need some pieces bigger than the other. If you paint your cup black and you happen to have black um, black tissue paper, you probably even don't have you probably don't even have to paint it after we do all this process. But because I don't have black. Okay, I'm gonna have to go with red. Actually, I only have the, the glitter one, so I have to go buy this one. Okay, so you're gonna break little pieces. You need um, different sizes because we're gonna cover the sides, but we're gonna cover part of the picture too, so. I just want it very, very wrinkly. I mean, you could start breaking it when, once you need the piece you need. So, I'm just gonna cut a couple of, of them so I don't have to go. If you have one that, you know, you got in your birthday present and it's a very wrinkle, <laughs> As crafter, we always, always put things away that people think is garbage. Because we usually use it for something. Like I said, this is going to be a two-part video. And if you want to do this tonight... And then come back tomorrow for the second part. And then we could do it together. I would like to see some other creations. If I do a tutorial, I want you guys, I want to see if you guys make the same cup. You know? I mean the same technique. It doesn't have to be the same picture. I'm going to rip some thin ones because I need it for the top. Now when you get something like this, if you have one that is too straight, cut it, because if you leave it straight, it would show. So we have to make it a... Don't get bored, I could have done this earlier, but 
Oops, that's too small. Hey, Judy. I wish I could rip my bills like this. <laughs> Lenore, make sure you put in the chat that I'm live. All right, so this is good for now. We need more. I got plenty of paper. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna open the Mod Podge, of course. And I wish I had the other brush, but I don't. So, we're gonna put Mod Podge on our cup. You're gonna go over the picture, cause you do wanna cover the lines, and we're gonna kind of like close it off. Like I say, if you have a bigger picture and goes on top of this one, it doesn't matter because we're going to add the tissue paper. So, you don't want to put a lot, but you don't want to put it too thin either. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to put the tissue paper. If it's folded on the edge, you don't want to fold it because then it's going to be hard when you put epoxy. Then we're going to put it down with our fingers. And now, very careful, we're going to put Mod Podge on top. You have, the reason why I say it's very careful is because this is tissue paper, and the tissue paper breaks easily. So, oops, I got Mod Podge in the middle. Hey, Twana. So, you got to do it easy. If it breaks, don't worry about it. We'll put another piece. Um, I do the bottom too. And this is the texture you're going to get. So whatever wrinkle you have in your cup, that's why you get, you're going to get when you apply all your colors. Uh, one thing, the only thing you have to avoid is any bubbles on your tissue paper. Because it would show. So if you have bubbles, make sure you put it down. Good, that's why I came on uh, live today. A lot of you asked for this tutorial. This one out here that is driving me insane. Okay, so we're gonna keep putting Mod Posh. Remember, make sure you have Mod Podge before you place your tissue paper. You see, I'm going on my picture. And I'm going over. I, I press it down because I do not want any bubbles on this. Make sure you have my patch in the bottom before you lay the paper down, the teacher paper. Remember, you know, this is, you could fold this whichever way you want, as long as you don't have any bubbles because then you're gonna have so much trouble when you put, uh, apply in the epoxy. You're gonna need a lot of codes. Okay, so carefully, we'll put my patch on top. You don't wanna go over with a lot of Mod Podge on the picture if you're not covering, because then it would show. Because the Mod Podge dries clear. 
So you'll see the clear. You see I have a folded piece over here and I have to open it up. There you go. We're gonna do this all over the cup. Once, once it dries, that's the texture you're gonna get with your, in your pictures. It could be time consuming because like sometimes if I see one, when it starts drying, you get to see if you see like a big line there, and then you could put another piece of uh, tissue paper. Like I say, the more wrinkly, the better. You just don't want the edges folded. And we'll do this again. See, I got a bubble right here, so I gotta press it down until there's no more bubbles. You see what I mean about the line? If I don't put one piece here, which I am because I gotta put it up here, you'll see this line when you add your other colors, when you distress your, your cup. make sure you don't have anything lifting I have no more patch in the bottom here so we're gonna add some more like I said the, the cup doesn't have to be painted white I had it painted white so that's what I'm using you could use a black cup any color um, tissue paper because you are going to paint it. So start pulling out those recycles. So I know I do. When I get a gift, my birthday is coming up. I save all, all of them. You see, I, I broke this one, but I'm going to put another piece. Let me see, let me see this one. The reason you wanna do it with your fingers first it's because of the bubbles, guys. Any questions yet? I don't, I don't want you guys to get bored. But if I don't teach you step by step, what's the point? Got a little hole here. Oops, I'm making a mess. Got a bubble here. Let's press it down. You could check for bubbles after you're done too. I just like to keep an eye on it so it's easier for me. And now we are done with the bottom. We're gonna go to the sides, and this is why we did the long strips. You do wanna go into the picture because that's where you wanna blend it in. Remember, for the edges, no good. Make sure there's mud patch in the bottom.
Make sure you put a mud podge, but you don't want to go, like I said, way inside the picture on this side. I'm gonna explain to you one more thing that I look at while I'm doing this. Okay, when I'm doing this, okay, because I wanna blend it in, I wanna put a little piece here because I don't want it to look, oops. I don't want it to look like a square so I always try to get like a little piece of something to kind of change the design a little bit. Like I don't want to cover my entire design, but I don't want it square because that's when it looks like you have a frame. And I don't like that. So, if you don't care, it's up to you. I don't like it. So, I try. I'm going to bring this over a little bit so I could put some in the bottom. And you see, now it doesn't look a square. So, you put the shape you want it. I'll just look into that because uh, I like to see it. Like a little shape, some some kind of shape, I don't know. Now when you're doing the top, you wanna leave a rim. You don't want the paper all the way, you can put my posh to the top, it doesn't matter, but you don't want it go with the paper to the top because you wanna be able to sell your tumbler. So, trust me, it doesn't look pretty while you're working on it, but once you add the colors, and everything it's gonna look nice and then when I start putting the t-shirt here but leave a rim do not put it to the top I'm gonna fold this a little bit so I could put it in there You could put layers too of paper. So let's put another one. I don't want to put it too much because then I'll cover my pictures way too much. I mean, you got, you got an idea of what I'm doing. I don't want these to cover, so we're gonna pull back a little bit. I have mop patch everywhere. Oh my God, what a mess. Like I said, remember, I do it. We're gonna cut, I don't know if you can see, can you guys see? I'm gonna cut a little piece here because I don't want it on the edge. I'm 
There you go. Always making sure you have mud putch under the tissue paper and on top of the tissue paper. I thought I did some long ones. Anybody working on something special today? I might do a tutorial next week on the Galaxy Cup I made. My God, I wish I could show you what is in my garage. I'm trying to see which one is the best way. Like I said, lift the rim. Hi, Christine. Just having supper? My daughter brought me dinner today. If I tell you what I ate, you guys are going to be disgusted. <laughs> I ate cow's tongue. It was so yummy. I'm Cuban. We Spanish. My husband said we Spanish people eat things that gringo throw away. Not working on cops. Got to rearrange this one. Oh, Sandra, you like lengua? Oh my God, it was so good. I had to call my daughter and said, I want, I want that again because I can't cook that because in my house, nobody eats that. But it was so good. I ate it with like, I haven't had that in a long time. Chicken pot pie. I never had that. We should put that with, you know, recipes so we try something. Oh, he likes it too? You see, in my house, um, Mexican eats it because I eat the tacos. Ooh, when I go to a Mexican restaurant, that's what I ask for. Lengua taco. But in my house, my husband don't eat none of that crap. It's a gringo. He said we eat, we Spanish people eat what gringos throw away. <laughs> Ooh, I like egg rolls. Listen, I like anything that I don't have to cook, okay? <laughs> Lately, I've been so lazy, I don't want to cook. I'm making uh, stuffed zucchini tomorrow. Casa Amigos, it sounds familiar. Where is that at? Casa Amigos. I moved down to, um, by Becker Road, um, Sky. Casa Amigo, it sounds familiar. Girl, I can't believe you live in my town. And we haven't even met yet. What the hell? US 1. See, my daughter lives by US-1. Maybe she knows where it is. I don't really go to US-1 much because 
I'm a crazy driver and I hate when I get cut off and US1 is crazy. So you cut me off and I'm the one, that, the kind of person that will follow you and until I don't cut you off, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm making Skyrim. It's um well I already made it. These I'm gonna give to my my nephew. I was making it for an order and he came to visit me and he fell in love with the cop. And he goes, Tia, yeah, I want one. So I'm gonna make it for him. He's a sweetheart. Hey Chila! Where are you moving to? Out of Florida or? I'm doing good, just, you know, hanging in there. I just, I need to come more live and hang out with you guys, because you guys make me happy. And I forget all my stressful days. Are you kidding me? You can't leave Sky, you can't leave Florida. Okay, so here's what I want to show you too. Oops, damn. Okay, so remember I said I don't want it half like square. This is, hold on. I gotta fix this before I forget, because then. Okay, so, because I don't wanna add a lot of paper here, I'm gonna rip this one off a little bit with my finger because then you'll see that line. And I don't wanna see a line. I wanna give it some kind of shape. Here too. We could like uh, rip it off a little bit. We could put another little piece. Thank you, Chila. I love sharing my work. So I added a lot a little piece because I don't like the way it looked. Okay, so this cup is done. Um, now is a good time to go around and look to see if you have any bubbles because you're gonna see it. And once you put the epoxy, it's a pain in the hiney. So you wanna make sure all your tissue paper is down. If you have a bubble, pop it and put another piece. Oh, you are? I haven't had a request for one. Okay, so my cup is done. See how easy it is? The key of this cup, the key to this is when you blend in the colors. And we're gonna do that tomorrow because it's wet. So I can do it today. I check for everything, I don't have bubbles. Check your bottom too, 
that you don't have, you know, something sticking up. So you don't have a hard time when you apply an epoxy. So for now, we are done. Uh, the next step on this cup is when it's thoroughly dry, I'm going to get black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint all the stuff. Well, because I'm doing it at night, I'm going to wait till tomorrow. Um, I usually, when I was making this cup, I made it in the morning and I would say like around nine in the morning. And I worked on it like around one. I mean, you will see when the, when the, you'll be able to see when the Mod Podge is dry because it, it, be, it becomes clear. So um, then you're ready, you know, to paint it. But just make sure it's totally dry because then we're gonna paint it uh, black and then we're gonna distress that black. If this is something you wanna do, um, you know, you could get it ready and then we'll do the second part tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna be using inks. Um, I did use Chameleon Mica to give it a little like a metallic color because my intention, I know there's a lot of glare. I don't know if you could see it. I don't know if you could see it because it's a lot of glare. But I use um, I use chameleon because I was trying to make it look like rock, like a rock, and I wanted to give it some color. So um, you're welcome, Mama. Yeah, I mean I live in Florida, so my pachia cures fast, be, dries fast because my garage. I put all my cups in my garage. And my garage is an oven, so. But you could do this with any, um, with any cup. I did another one, Jamarco. Let me see if my son brings it over. I made another one, and what I tried to do is, I tried to go within the colors on the, thank you, Michelle. What I try to do is try to go with the colors um, of, the, uh, of the picture. If you see here, this picture has some, you'll see it here better, some orange, you know, thing there. So what I did on that side, I went and I tried to recreate that color. You know, it's not perfect, but I try my best. So, I usually, when I decorate the cup, I usually go, can you bring me the other Skyrim cup, please, from the garage? Yeah. Um, and bring me the Galaxy one. Is that also dry? Yeah, it should be dry. So, I try to go with, uh, when, I'm, when I'm giving, like if my customer doesn't tell me what color cup they want, and they tell me, hey, Jeanette, you know, I want this cup, you do whatever you want with it. Well, I don't want to be breaking my head or what's a favorite color, blah, blah, blah. She gave me, she told me just do whatever you want. So I usually go with the color of the picture, within the picture. And that's why I try to, this has some white and it has some blues. It has a black. So I try to go with the colors in my image. I did the same thing with this one. You see, the colors are like yellows, and I did I did like a bronze color. Oh my god, I hate the glare because you can't really see it. So I tried to go with the colors within the image. And these I might do a tutorial on this if you guys are interested. This is the galaxy cup I'm working on. I think it came out amazing, but 
without the glare, of course. And there it is, the new glitter. So um, if you guys are interested, once I'm done, I'm gonna post it in the group. Hey, Ricky. So I could do a tutorial on that if you guys want it. I mean, I'm not the best at making galaxy cup, but I don't know. I think I did a pretty good job. I hope they like it. Do you guys have any questions? And I know it's a short tutorial for today, but you know, we can't do anything else for this cup. So, a tutorial on what? On the Galaxy, Michelle? If you guys want a tutorial on the Galaxy Cup, I will tomorrow. Tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll do the second part of this cup. Oh, a super cup. I know. I'm not like... I'm not the best at Galaxy Cups, but I think I did a pretty good job on that one. <laughs> I haven't used my cream glitter. Cream is the light. Hey Jeanette, yes, I will, I will do the tutorial on that one. Guys, I had to go in one of my glitters, the new glitters, and pick up the little stars out of the glitter because I didn't have stars. <laughs> so, I didn't want to put a lot of them because, you know, I was going to add the, um, the, the glitter and the epoxy that looks like galaxy and I don't want to be like overdo it. Oh, you got the glitter? Awesome. I added black swan into the epoxy. All right, I could do the galaxy next week. Thank you. Any questions, my friends? Remember, if you're gonna make this cup, oh, you show me because I haven't used that glitter. I. I really don't have any order that asks for glitters like that. I just got two orders for a penis cup. <laughs> and I had to make a nurse cup, which I have something in mind. Hopefully it comes out the way I want it. Oh, uh, it's okay, mama. I mean, like I said, tomorrow I will post at what time exactly I'm gonna be up. But um, <laughs> you're laughing at me because I say, please. Um, so between 12 and one o'clock, we'll do the second, the second um, part of the video, the second part of the tutorial. Yes, I do, I have to. So if you wanna do this cup, and wanna do the second part with me, once you finish doing this, and your epoxy, uh, your epoxy, oh my God. Your mop patch is dry, you have to paint it black. Only, you know, where you put, don't go over the picture. You know that, but. See, I have a line here and I don't like this, wait. I gotta break this line, there you go. So, <laughs> I know, I seen it in every group. I, I see that on every group, I messed it up here. So, Remember, paint it black and then we'll do tomorrow the other part. I gotta fix my cup. So if you have, if you don't have any questions, I'm gonna let you guys go. Guys, I need you guys to be more, more active in the group. I don't, I'm busy. I don't get to see a lot of pretties. And when I look at pretties, even though I'm busy and I'm stressed out with, you know, stuff, 
I look at the pretties and I feel better. So we need to get the group back to being active because I haven't seen posts. I don't see people posting anything and we have like 5,000 members in the group. So let's get the group going again. I'm going to try to be more active and I'm sorry I haven't been able to be active because you know my mom, my sister, all my issues. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you for coming and spending the time with me. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for always supporting me. And let's get the group moving. So have a good night. If you need me, you know where to find me. And I will see you tomorrow between 12 and 1. I will post in the group at what time exactly I'm going to go on. Okay? So happy Friday. Have a good night. See you later.